The non-farm payroll helped push the S&P 500 into new high territory in the first 30 minutes of trading on Friday. Then it started to sell off. The S&P 500 went from a gain of almost 24 points to a loss of almost 34 points, a 70-plus point reversal. Now, you might be thinking this could be the top. Well, I'm going to show you why I believe this is not the top and there are higher high to come. When we look at the market, we need to pay attention to the internal strength of the market. We need to ask the question, is the market moving up with more stock going up? And is the market moving down with more stock going down? And looking at today's advanced decline, we see that there are 350 more stock going up than stock going down. And they tell us today could be just a profit taking. If this is a rush out the door type of sell off, we should see at least 1,500 or more declining stock over advancing stock. But we did not see that today. And the next thing to watch is how many stock make new 52-week high versus the number of stock make new 52-week low. And looking at the new high, new low, we see there were 285 stock make new 52-week high and only 15 stock make new 52-week low on Friday. Now, more importantly, is the number of the new high over new low. And we see this kind of holding steady recently. So if the market has top, we should see this number to go down. And finally, we look at the cumulative advanced decline line. We see that it is going up and moving higher. This tells us that the S&P 500 is moving higher. There are more stock going up in price to help push it higher. If the market has top, there will be fewer stock going up in price and more stock going down in price. And we will see this line moving down as the S&P 500 makes a top. Historically, market do not top with more stock going up than stock going down. It usually do the opposite. It has more stock going down than stock going up as the market tops. And looking at all the major market indexes, we see the S&P 500 and the Nasdaq 100 and the New York Stock Exchange Composite Index make new all-time high on Friday. Now, the S&P 500 and the New York Stock Exchange Composite closed with a new all-time closing high on Thursday. There are two takeaways from these information the market is telling us. The first takeaway is the market does not top with broad market participation on the upside. It topped with the smallest market participation. So we see that the broadest market index, the New York Stock Exchange Composite, made a new all-time high. You know, the New York Stock Exchange Composite Index is made up of 3,000 stock. In order for this index to make a new high, it takes more than a handful of stock to move it up. Unlike the S&P 500, it only takes a handful of stock to move up that index because it only has 500 stock. And right now, a handful of these mega cap stock has a weighting factor on that index of more than 25%. This means they only take a few of these heavy weighted stock to move the S&P 500 up and down. And the movement of this index can be easily distorted. And the second takeaway is the market historically does not top when multiple index makes a new high. In the last two sessions, we saw the New York Stock Exchange Composite, the S&P 500, and the Nasdaq 100 make new high. So in order for the market to top, we need to see more declining stock than advancing stock. Fewer stock make new 52-week high, and the New York Stock Exchange Composite Index does not make a new high when other major market index makes a new high. And finally, only one index makes new high. Today, we are not seeing that, and that's why we will likely see higher high for the market to put in those characteristics for a market top. Now, do not be mistaken between market top and market correction. Just because we do not see market top characteristic today doesn't mean the market cannot pull back, consolidate, then launch another move up to a new high. But if you are wondering if today is a top, the market behaviors tell us it is not. So if you find this content interesting and informative, smash the thumbs up and give it a like, and it will also help promote this video. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, click the subscribe to help support this channel. Thank you for watching and good luck with your trading.